Hi, I'm Brett, and today we're talking about the Subaru Spec C range of engines, or commonly known as twin scroll turbo two liter engines. Now, these cars are typically uh, JDM, Japanese domestic market models, and as you can see in the back here is a tarmac rally car, and these Subaru SDIs are actually brought into Australia by Subaru as a limited availability for motorsport use. They can't be registered as a normal road car, and this particular car has been shipped up from Tasmania for our overseas people, a couple of thousand k's south of Sydney, um, for a engine rebuild because the client's had some other problems previously with another engine rebuilder and he wants a package so he can compete in the rest of the Tarmac Rally series. So what I want to show you today is some visual and technical variations between this engine and this car and a normal uh, road going Subaru SDI. And one of the most obvious things, and I'll get my cameraman to get down low, it's difficult to see, but is the exhaust manifold. These engines are twin scroll turbo. They've got a completely different exhaust manifold to match the turbocharger. And if you see the pictures that we've posted with this video on our Facebook page, I'll show you some differences between the tur turbos. And the difference mainly is in the entry and the way the compressor housing is designed for the up pipe for the turbo. So you can't just swap exhaust manifolds and turbos between these different twin scroll and non-twin scroll setups. The other difference between this engine is it's a two litre engine, it's not a 2.5. The two litre engine on the, on the current model spec C's have slightly different pistons to the earlier model two litre engines, so they're not what we would typically call these days a true forged piston. Um, they are better from a competition and a reliability point of view than the pistons that are in the 2.5 litre engines, that's the hyper-eutectic pistons. If you're doing a re engine rebuild on these, it's pretty common these days to replace the factory 2 litre uh, engine pistons with an aftermarket truly forged piston and a set of rods at the same time. Now in this particular car, the rules allow us to, as long as we are using similar specifications as in mechanical design, they are allowed within the rules. We get up to the top here. Now this engine's designed to run on E85. E85 consumes about 30% more fuel than uh, 98 or 100 ron fuel. So down inside here, which I'll get my cameraman to poke the camera down in, right in there is the injector. So we're going to a larger capacity injector, which gives us the ability to flow more fuel to meet the engine demand requirements, which will allow us to generate more grunt. We've also changed the inlet pipe to the turbo because previously the client had a silicon intake pipe which was a horrible design and strictly not allowed within the rules either. Um, around the front of the engine, a lot of the things are very similar. Variable um, quad cam engine with the four cams, the crankshaft in the middle, variable cam control, uh, rubber belt with all the usual parts, very similar to the 2.5. Um, being a SCI engine, it still comes with the uh, cast alloy red inlet manifold and around the back of the engine you'll notice flywheel in this particular setup, you can't see it inside here but it's got a button clutch with a sprung centre because being a tarmac rally car it does, it does get a pretty hard time. And I'll get my cameraman to turn around from an engine bay point of view. These cars come with a uh, six speed transmission which obviously we all know these days pretty bulletproof. Um, this particular car's got an aftermarket uh, oil cooler and you'll also notice that the engine bay is a little bit different but not obviously a lot different to a road going car. Um, even the ancillaries as far as the way things bolt up, when you lift the bonnet on a spec C engine you've got to look really closely to tell the difference. So there you have it from a performance point of view. Top mount intercooler is fairly similar as well. Difference between an STI spec C and an STI road going car, it's in the detail that makes a difference. And one of the big questions um, I'll end up answering here is, is the two litre engine better than the 2.5 or is the 2.5 better than the two litre? Well, it depends on how you're gonna be using the car. The efficiency of the two litre engine at different RPM is different to an efficiency at a different RPM to the 2.5. So what you've got to consider is what are you going to actually be using the car for? The spec C engine runs a higher compression ratio which gives it more torque, but it's two litre. 
but a 2.5 has greater capacity, so it is all has more torque than a two litre, but it doesn't run the same compression ratio. So there is no black and white answer. It depends on what you're actually gonna be using the car for. So hopefully, this bit of information will help you learn and understand more about your car wherever you are in the world. If you've got one of these engines and the package upgrades, there are some other really good improvements with the custom factory tuning using Ecutech software. And this car will be on our dyno next week, ready for delivery back to the client to compete in the next round of the Australian Tarmac Rally Championship. For now, I'm Brett Middleton. I really hope this video has helped you learn a bit more about your car. Make a comment here on our video channel, send us an email, pick up the phone, give us a call, or go to our website, have a look at the resources page on the drop down menu for the dyno data, and you'll see a whole heap of graphs as well that will help you see what you can achieve out of these engines. But for today, thanks for watching.